Welcome. This is another video by Michael Hurst, uh, fecaltransplant.org. Today I want to discuss a topic that I've been responding to a lot of questions about from my readers recently, and that is the use of bupropion, also known under the brand names Wellbutrin and Zyban, as a possible anti-inflammatory as well as helping for irritable bowel uh, symptoms. As you all may have uh, heard from my story on this website and in my book, Fecal Transplant Cured My Ulcerative Colitis, it was the addition of uh, the immediate release form of bupropion uh, plus uh, doxepin that seemed to finally put things over the top for me. Now, I was thinking this was really, really interesting. Like, why would antidepressants end up helping? After all, I'd done fecal transplant for five weeks, then taking a week off. Then I added bupropion along with uh, mesalamine, uh, aprizo, and mesalamine suppositories, and then also the uh, low dose of doxepin before. Um, the dose, about six milligrams, is actually less than the lowest dose even diagnosed, um, even prescribed uh, for people that would have depression. So it's a combination of these two drugs that seem to put things over the top. And I've wondered, after all this time, since I tried so many things, how can I be sure exactly what helped? Or maybe it was a combination. But to what extent did each different part of the drugs seem to help? Well, recently, I actually did start to have some uh, recurrent diarrhea about uh, two weeks in a row. I was starting to get a little worried. There was no blood. It was nowhere near as severe as ulcerative colitis had been for me in the past. But I was a bit worried. And then I started to take uh, Wellbutrin once again uh, for about a week, and the diarrhea went away. I went back to having a solid stool. Uh, this reconfirms for me that uh, Wellbutrin, bupropion, as it were, um, is very, very helpful in this. Now, why did I originally think that this might be worth uh, trying? Well, part of the reason was this. I found a study from uh, back in 2005, 2006, where GlaxoSmithKline, uh, which uh, held the patent for Wellbutrin and Zyban uh, back when it was under patent, had done research for its use in Crohn's disease. This is after some laboratory tests indicated that bupropion inhibited uh, TNFA in mice. Now, inhibiting TNF is how biologic drugs such as Remicade um, are believed to work and why they are prescribed uh, for the use of treating uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. It is my belief, while I can't, you know, substantiate it through any research since GlaxoSmithKline did not release the results of their study. Uh, we don't know if uh, this drug uh, worked the way they wanted it to, maybe it worked part way, or, or who knows, maybe they have other reasons for just not wanting to release this information to the public. But it is my belief that uh, Wellbutrin does help uh, relieve inflammation in at least some people who have ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And since it works in a similar mechanism to drugs like Remicade, which are much more expensive and have many more dangerous side effects, it is worth giving bupropion a try if you are considering trying Remicade um, because of the similarity of action. It is quite possible that it could help and bring about very, very quick relief. In my case, less than a day after I started on Wellbutrin, uh, combined with the other drugs, <clears throat> I had an almost complete remission of symptoms, uh, which has now been sustained for two years without having to go through ongoing medical uh, treatment. So while I give a lot of the credits to the fecal transplants, the fecal uh, microbiota transplants, as they're often known, um, I do believe that the addition of the antidepressant drugs, including Wellbutrin, was a major, major factor in my reason for getting well. And I suggest that anyone that has a severe a flare of ulcerative colitis and is considering also using fecal transplants also give Wellbutrin a shot to treat their case of ulcerative colitis. Thank you.